house, Mike Glowers. How about some props for the offense, that eighth inning comeback last night? Well, Brad, they say good things come to those who wait. And the Mariners waited and waited and waited until the eighth inning. And the good times finally came for them as they scored three. And after a base on balls, why, Jose Lopez kind of got things rolling. He did. Jose swung the bat well last night, ended up with a couple of hits. And then after his hit, you have Michael Saunders come up. In a pressure situation, a nice aggressive at bat. Just missed hitting a grand slam. A deep fly ball to right field with the bases loaded. So the Mariners will be able to pick off a run as Tui comes home to score. And then right after that, this was a really good at bat. 0-2 pitch just off the plate. A really good pitch, but Adam Moore stays with it. Gets a solid base hit into right field and drives in another run. And then to finish things off offensively, it's Josh Wilson, a base hit up the middle to drive in the third run for the Mariners. Well, Phoenix Hernandez had seven outstanding shutout innings. Unfortunately, he did not receipt for the victory, but his ERA did go down, down, down to 2.38. And tonight, as we look at the pitching matchups, Jason Vargas, who has pitched almost as well as Phoenix as Phoenix this year, and has been unbelievable against the Angels, will get the call. He will, and again, fastball command for him. ERA at three and a half, going for his tenth win tonight. But he has pitched well against the Angels in three starts. He has a 1-0 record. ERA, though, 1.71. He has pitched well against Anaheim. Trevor Bell will get the start for the Angels. He had a fine outing in his last outing. And the Mariners plan to win this series by knocking him off. Well, and I think they're going to have to try to get his pitch count up. He's somebody that's bounced back and forth from the bullpen to the rotation. So I doubt that he's going to be in there for a long time. But if they can get on his fastball, and he has a good one, they should have some success against him tonight. So the Mariners and the Angels, this is the final meeting between these two ball clubs here in Seattle this year. Good to have you with us. We'll be back and have more cool evening, but a, a nice night. Nothing like last night when it looked like it was going to be winter again, but summer has returned. Good to have you with us. We're back right after this.
cameras to track every pitch. Graphical enhancements have been added to the EQC Tracer this season to give you more information and insight into the game. And tonight from Seattle, from Safeco Field, Seattle Mariners Baseball on FSN is brought to you by the fast, reliable, secure, heavy-duty Internet from Quest. By Sterling Savings Bank, recipient of the 2010 J.D. Power and Associates Award. And by your Western Washington Toyota dealers for over 30 Toyota offers, visit buyatoyota.com. A check of our Marine Corps note on Felix Hernandez, a man who pitched last night and was brilliant. The month ended in August, and look what he did in August. Only one Mariner pitcher in history has had a lower ERA in a month. That was Mark Langston back in 1988. 0.82 his ERA, and the rest of the numbers are just unbelievable. So Felix Hernandez certainly is in Cy Young form. But Bill Kruger, does he realistically have a chance to win that coveted award? Well, Dave, you, you know, both of us feel on the left coast that he deserves it. Look at all the numbers he's put up outside of wins, you know, with the innings pitch, the quality starts, the strikeouts, the ERA right at the top of the league. But we also know that most of the time he pitches way past the voters' bedtime on the East Coast. But uh, this guy's been brilliant this month, and he hasn't been against chumpy competition. He beat Boston out in Boston. He overwhelmed the Yankees for the third time. I mean, those numbers are pretty amazing. You know, only three times in the past 50 years has someone had more than 50 strikeouts and an ERA under one. Tom Seaver, J.R. Richard, and Roger Clemens, and now Felix Hernandez. I'll tell you, that's as overpowering a month that I have ever seen from a pitcher. Of course, I haven't been around to see all those guys all the way back, Dave, but that's, that's pretty impressive. That's some pretty tall cotton indeed. Felix Hernandez, congratulations on a fabulous not only August, but a fabulous year, and we still have a month to go. The Mariners and the Angels, this will be the deciding game of this series. Good to have you with us. We'll be back and have more in the safe goal field here in Seattle. Right after this, time out. Beautiful wing point on Bainbridge Island looking uh, across to downtown Seattle. That's where we are at St. Gold Field getting ready for the finale. The deciding game of this three-game series between the Mariners and the Angels. The final meeting of the year here in Seattle. And a very pleasant good evening again, everybody. With Mike Lowers, Dave Niehaus, welcome to St. Gold Field. Let's look at the Angel lineup, Mike. 
For manager Mike Sosha, leading things off, it'll be Reggie Willis in his Cayespo. Kendrick will move. He'll hit third. Then Hunter Napoli Rivera. Matsui, the DH, moves down, hitting seventh. Brandon Wood, the backup infielder. He will play shortstop tonight and hit eighth. And Borges, the young outfielder, will hit ninth. Take a look at the numbers for Vargas. ERA at three and a half, 158 innings pitched for him, 99 strikeouts this year. Opponents average 246. And the defense behind him. In the outfield, it'll be Saunders, Gutierrez, and Ichiro. Across the infield, you have Lopez. Josh Wilson's really done a nice job out at shortstop. Tiggins and Kochman on the right side of the infield. Adam Moore with a big base hit in last night's game. He will do the catching. Well, Jason Vargas in three starts against the Angels, 1-0. With a 1.71 ERA. With a strikeout to walk ratio of 17 to 3. So he has dominated the Angels so far this year. And Reggie Willits, the switch hitting left fielder, will step in and lead it off. And here we go. Nice pitch for a strike. Jerry Meals is the man calling balls and strikes tonight. Willits fouls that back and out of play. Look at those three starts against the Angels. Jan Davidson's coming back near us and over our heads. One, two, on Reggie Willis. 67 degrees up about six degrees from the start of last night when we were undercover here. Pulled on the third baseline and a fair ball by Lopez. And it's going to die out there, but Willis will go into second base with the leadoff double. Just pulled right inside the third base bag. So he gets a cutter in on his hands. Lopez playing off the bag. That pitch actually just off the plate. Can't get over to the backhand. Willits has good speed, even though Saunders made a nice play out in left field to get the ball in quickly. Willits ends up with a double. And Alberto Callaspo, another switch hitter, the hitter. Even with the win last night, the Mariners still have only won four games against the Angels in 15 tries. And they'll be down in Anaheim for three more next weekend, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Nice pitch. One one. Chopper over the mound and it'll move the runner to third. As Josh Wilson throws out Cayaspo. Hits slow enough to move Willis on down to third base. And Howie Kendrick will try and drive him in. And it looks like here in the first inning, Aaron Brown will bring the corners of the infield up. Middle of the infield will play back. Kendrick hits a ground ball up the middle somewhere. Willis will score. Kendrick is two for 12 against Jason. Angels move on down the coast after the game to the Bay Area where they'll have tomorrow off and then play the A's over the weekend. That'll get the run in. A ground ball to second. Vickens will throw him out. Kendrick will pick up his 65th RBI. And Torrey Hunter will be the hitter. Been a long time. I think it's been 18 games since Torrey Hunter's had. An RBI. 
That's a strike over the outside corner. Pitch is his changeup. I think he's pitched well against the Angels because he's not afraid to throw fastballs inside. Like that one, missed with it. He tries to keep him honest and then comes right back with a good changeup. Topping out at 89 miles an hour so far. Back. Speaking of left handers, you see Mr. Chapman's debut? I saw the highlights of it, yes. Did, did you see what he did tonight? I did not. 104 tonight. So he beat the 103 from last <laughs> night. That's right. And a change. Down he goes. So Tory Hunter is the third out, but the Angels do draw first blood. One run on one hit. They go to the bottom of the first. One nothing Angels. The Ichiro Figgins and Goodyear is hitting third again. Brandon Lopez, Casey Kochman, six. Saunders with a sacrifice by last night's seventh. Adam Moore with a big base hit. And last night's game eighth, then Josh Wilson will hit ninth. Look at the numbers for Bell this year. Only 49 and two-thirds innings for him. 18 walks, 35 strikeouts. He's only given up one home run, but opponents average 315. In the outfield, Willis, Borges, and Hunter. Across the infield, the Cayespo, Wood, Kendrick. Juan Rivera over at first. And Mike Napoli will do the catching tonight. And Ichiro will lead it off and take a strike. We'll mention this once and once only. His granddaddy was Bozo the Clown for 25 years in the Chicago TV market. A very famous uh, TV character in TV history. One ball and one strike to count. And a strike at the knees, one and two. <laughs> Just off the inside corner. <laughs> and he got it. Good sinker. Step up to the plate. All fastballs to each row, including this last one down in the zone. Throws it right by him, 93 mile an hour fastball. 
Trevor Bell, of Southern California through and through, born in North Hollywood, makes his home in Toluca Lake, which is not that far from the NBC studios in Burbank. And Toluca Lake, uh, the home of the late uh, Bob Hope, at a home right there at Lakeside uh, Country Club in Toluca Lake. And a ground ball, they sit into the hole. To beat him with a fastball inside, inside out swing. Finds a hole over on the left side of the infield. I would think the Pickens will test Mike Napoli. First couple of pitches probably take off. Lakeside Country Club uh, bring back some very fond memories for me in my early years in uh, in Los Angeles when I was working down there in KMPC Radio. Uh, Dick Whittinghill, who was one of the great radio personalities in America, the morning man down there, lived near the Lakeside Golf Club and was a member of the Lakeside Golf Club and a good friend of Bob Hopes and I used to go out there as Whitting Hills guest a lot and get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> and Forrest Tucker. <laughs> they didn't put any restrictions on you for how often you could go out there. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> Side, ball two, two balls and no strikes to count. Franklin Gutierrez. Tinsley had to hold up Figgins, who was racing around third. Russell Brannion will get a chance to drive in a run for the Mariners. And like the Mariners in the first inning, the infield playing back for the Angels. Russell takes away. Ball one, one ball, no strikes. That does find the outside corner. about Cliff Lee, man. He's had some tough outings. He had another tough outing last night. Yeah, when he first went down there, he was pitching well and wasn't getting any run support, believe it or not. And lately, he has struggled. Two 
two. Up the center. Pretty much of a free fall right now. The St. Louis Cardinals lost again today. And down he goes. Big strikeout. So Lopez will have to do it with two down here. Take a look at the last pitch down in the zone. Looks like a good changeup. Russell off in front of it and swings over the top of it. Lopez had a good night last night, a couple of base hits, including a double. Lope of Papa in the right center field. Borges is there to make the catch, and the Mariners will leave two out there in scoring position here in the first inning. No runs, a couple of hits, and two left, and after one, one nothing Angels. Rangers and their fans as Mike Napoli leads it off. Speaking of surgery, today Sean Kelly had his surgery down in Southern California, and they got some pretty good news. It was feared that he might have to have Tommy John surgery. He'd already had one Tommy John surgery in college, and when they got in there, they did what they called a half a Tommy John. Which means that they didn't have to cut out a ligament and put a new one in. The end of the one was frayed and they repaired it and they said the recovery time for that will be four months instead of one year to 18 months. That's great news. So he will be ready for uh, spring training. And he's expected back in Seattle tomorrow to already begin rehab. That is great news for him. I know that everybody was concerned about that. He could certainly help them in the bullpen next year. So. Stay on that rehab and get healthy. This pitch for a strike to Napoli, and the count is full, three and two. And strike three called of the knees. Pitch in the middle of the plate, right at the bottom of the strike zone. Napoli takes it. He thought maybe that pitch was down. Jerry Mills rings him up.
Juan Rivera, who's hit 17 home runs against uh, the Mariners, has hit a couple against Vargas, and he fouls this one back. Team fly ball. And each row makes it out number two here in the second. Get ready for the first Mariners fleece blanket giveaway in club history. That's this Saturday. The Mariners hosting the Indians and the first 15,000 fans. 21 and over receive a thick, luxurious fleece blanket just in time for the cooler weather. For tickets, you can visit Mariners.com. Would have felt good last night. Yeah, would have. That'd be what, around 50 degrees by the time we were getting out of here last night. Here's the decky Matsui now. A little outside ball one. Slider for a strike. Inside. Well, the Padres are struggling. They've had fabulous summer, but right now they're running into real big problems. They've lost seven in a row with their loss today. And that breaking ball at the knees and the count two and two. But they're still coming into play today and a four game lead for the Giants. Giants have Colorado in town. They're tied one to one in the sixth inning. That'll be an interesting to watch. Buddy Black and, and the Padres. It's been a while for them. We'll see if they can hang in there for this last month. And he lost him down low, so Matsui. Trots on down to first with a two out base on balls. And here's the kid that. Uh, has hit a lot of minor league home runs and has just not put it together at the major league level. Brandon Wood playing shortstop and hitting only 165. Salt Lake City last year. I didn't think for somebody in the minor leagues hit that many home runs. He's jumping on some fastballs, and so far Vargas has thrown a couple up there at 88 miles an hour and thrown a by him. And he pops it up. And it's going to be into the dugout. Speaking of home runs, Greg Hall, about him. 32 yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. Hope we get a chance to see him after their season is over up here. And a conversation with Alonzo Powell, who was the hitting coach down there for a while with him. And Said he has a lot of tools, good athlete, young kid, hasn't played a lot of baseball, but he said that when he puts the barrel on it, he can really put a charge in it. Big guy. One and two, played for the Netherlands during the World Tournament a couple of years ago. Dutch.
So down on strikes is Brandon Wood, and here in the second. The man left, Matsui over at first base. When we come back, Coxman, Saunders, and Adam Moore, one nothing Angels. As we go into the bottom half of inning number two, and Casey Cotsman will start it off. I take a strike right at the knees from Trevor Bell. Good sized kid. 6'2, 185, just 23 years of age. setting up outside and he hits the target and it's a ground ball to the left side. Easy play out there for Cayaspo to throw him out. So what away as we check in with Tom Blaster. Tom. Burners and himself. Quite a year. 40 saves. That ball's lined to right field and on the run. A fine catch by Tory Hunter to stop Mr. Michael Saunders. Two down. Big base hit last night that got the Mariners the lead with that broken bat, little looper right over Kendrick at second base into right field. And although it broke his bat, it was a good piece of hitting. It was in an 0-2 count. It was a good slider down and off the plate, stayed with it. And about the end of the bat a little bit, but nice clutch hit. And that's into the gap, and that baby is going to get down, and it's going to go off the fence. Way out there in right center field. Nice piece of hitting right there as Adam Moore stands at second base. I'll tell you something. Roger Hansen works Adam Moore like a dog. We get out here early this afternoon, and almost every day, Hansen is with Roger Moore either blocking pitches or doing something, and today was the pop-up drill, right at home plate where he's got the machine, yeah. and he must have popped up a hundred pitches. 
I would, I would, I would think that you would agree with this. And because of that work with Adam, Adam over the last two to three weeks has done a much better job blocking, blocking everything right yep. now. He's doing a really nice job. So it's a lot of work for him. Crash course, but it's paying off during the games. Roger's done a great job in the organization yeah. for many years working with the kids. And it's good to see him get a chance to spend some time up here in uniform. And there he is, the bench coach. Strike over the outside corner of the knees, one ball and one strike. Detroit hoping you get a shot here in the second inning. And their second consecutive inning, they've had men in scoring position. Rivera is right there, and the big first baseman will make the catch. And so down the drain, this threat goes. No runs a hit, and a man left as we move into the third. And one nothing Angel. The third inning of play, let's give you our AT&T trivia question. I don't know if you've been paying a lot of attention to the batting races, the home run races, the RBI races in the National League, but there's a heck of a race going on over there. How many players rank in the top five in the National League in those three categories, average home runs and RBIs? None, one, two, or three. Well, I know two of them. It's, it's a heck of a race, and the fastball is high. One ball and no strikes to count. Trey Votto and, and Albert Pujols. Mm -hmm. And deliveries down low and inside. The guy that nobody has mentioned that much of is, is Carlos Gonzalez of the Colorado Rockies. I know. My gosh. I didn't even know. I, I saw it a couple of days ago as I was looking over at the National League side of things and what was going on over there. And as you mentioned, we've all heard about Pools and Votto because they've been going at it all year. But Gonzalez is right there for the Rockies. He's having a great year for the Rockies. 
Burgess fouls it back, and of course, originally with the Oakland A's. You think one of them will win the Triple Crown? No, I don't. You don't? I'd like to see it happen. It's been so long, what, 1937, since Ducky Medwick won in the Cardinals in the National League. That's off the end of the bat on the warning track and back into the stands. When was that in 37? Yeah. Yeah. 67 in the American League, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. You're the impossible dream. Just puts a pretty good charge into it, but each row is going to have room to get back on the track there to make the catch. But that kid's going to be a good one. So he has a lot of tools. Can pretty, certainly run. Pretty raw. It'll be fun to watch him develop. It surprised me with the home run he had out to dead center field the first night, man. So he's shown some pop, drives that ball out to right center. I think Votto will win the triple crown. I hope you're right. No. Yeah. The knees to Reggie Willis, who doubled and has scored the only run of the ball game. Two strikes. I know Mike and I do too. Want to wish the Huskies well as see Steve Sarkeesian takes his dogs into BYU and the Provo on Saturday to play the Cougars. And for Sarkeesian to return to his alma mater where he starred. Candy and pitches foul back and out of play. I think they're going to have a much better year this year. I do too. Yeah. Partner here featured in the latest uh, alumnus magazine of Washington Huskies. Nice piece on you. Yeah, it was nice to um, take the time to come out here and talk to me. And that almost the same type of a ball on which he got the double in the first inning, which just fouled. Well, Vargas ended up getting a couple of strikes on pitches away, and now he's trying to jam him up inside. Lopez playing a little bit more straight away at third. He was off the line his first time up. In Oklahoma product, University of Oklahoma. Full count. Works his way back to a full count after going 0 and 2. Erdo Cayespo waiting on deck. Fly ball to left field. So, so two down. College football back this Saturday on FSN and FSN HD. Coverage begins at 9.30 a.m. with Illinois taking on the high-powered Tigers of Missouri. And then at 4, it's Jeff Toole and the Washington State Cougars in action against the Oklahoma State Cowboys. College football on FSN this season, anything can happen. Cayaspo pops it up. Cotswin takes care of it. So here in the third, three up and three down will be the top of the list coming up for the Mariners as we go to the bottom of the third. How about some shrimp? Man, does that
evening here in the Pacific Northwest as Ichiro leads it off and uh, takes a strike from Trevor Bell. Ichiro struck out to start the ball game for the Indians. Four mile an hour change up right down the middle. One hop. And Kai Gaspo just barely gets it. So one down. Well, here's what you said on that trivia question. How many players rank in the top five in the three major triple crown categories? 50% of you said two. And the answer is three, and look at that. Carlos Gonzalez hit a home run tonight. My gosh, look at that, how tightly placed that is. That's that's a pretty big margin for pools to catch up an average, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And that fastball is high, but there's a month to go. I just think it's going to be tough on him. I, I think that we'll pitch around him a little bit more, make things tougher on him. Votto in that lineup with Cincinnati. A lot of hitters in there. Culinary delight again. Nope. It's pretty good, doesn't it? It's fabulous. Nice night to dine out. I like the crab and the shrimp in yeah. the bucket. Yeah, huh? that was all right, huh? That's least in the left field for a base hit. So Figgy is two for two now. Play had a ground ball through the left side his first time up. This time it's a solid line drive out in the left field. He's been swinging the bat much better lately. That average up around 250 now. Franklin Gutierrez moved him down to third base with a broken bat double in the first inning. Yems had runners at second and third with only one man down, but they couldn't do anything about it. Kind of a lazy crowd here tonight at 15,000 or so, one might think. Maybe a few more. A major league pitcher to throw a fastball in the dirt like that, so it was a nice play. And there goes the runner, and that's all through the second base. Not in time. Piggy is 34. Stolen base. Well, his former team, you knew he was going to try to get down there eventually and steals this bag easily. Napoli, not a good throw, bounced down in front of Kendrick. Kendrick went over to cover second base. Bell came to home plate. If you look at you see Howie Kendrick come over to try to keep him there. And at that point, he went to home plate. Anything on the right side would have been a base hit. Kendrick out of position. Three and one. 
How's that play work? Timing play. Well, the one that, that you would normally see is first you get a sign between either the second baseman or the or the shortstop. And a lot of times the pitcher will take a look back at the runner, and when he turns around, and looks at home. When the when the infielder breaks to the bag, the catcher will just drop his glove, and that's when he's supposed to spin. But somebody missed a sign there because there yep. you go, right yep. there. That's exactly it. That's the play. Well, somebody like Figgins who likes to be aggressive on the bases, it's one of the ways you can keep him close. Certainly the Angels are aware of that, but that timing play is a good one. Another slider, and as he goes to cover, Franklin hits a line drive. That ball is probably right at Cayespo for a line out. Instead, the Mariners get a run because Figgins was on the move. And so Russell Browning will step up to the plate. The ball game 1 1. Strikes. Big man has hit 10 home runs with the Mariners. 10 with the Cleveland Indians. And the runner goes, swung out of best and down to second base and out of second base is Franklin Gutierrez as he is gunned down. For only the third time this year. We take a look at our Coors Light freeze frame cam and let's see how close it was. Throw right on the money and he was out. Two strikes. The Indians move in tomorrow. Doug Fister scheduled to get the start for the Mariners. Got him. So that's the second time that Mr. Brannion has fanned in the ball game. Strikeout number three overall for Trevor Bell, but the Mariners get one to get even. And after three, on one time.
Tomas, good to hear your voice again. Thanks. Hello, everybody. A 1-1 ball game here. Good to see the Mariners come back and tie things up. Jason Vargas trying to end a personal two-game losing streak. He gives up a first inning run. No big deal. He's looked pretty good since then. No, first hitter of the game, Willis hits a double down the line. And since then, you're right, he's, he's pitched well in the game. Mariners catch a little bit of a break. The line drive that Goody drove in. Vickens yeah. on. That would have been right at Cayespo if he exactly. hadn't run over to cover third base. So, Franklin Gutierrez picks up an RBI. They can score as a run. It worked out well. Rick Riz and I were saying the same things. And, oh, my goodness, the way this year's been going. That's, you know, line drive, double play, inning over. Surprised it didn't hit him on the run towards <laughs> third, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a, definitely another possibility. Been that kind of year. One and two to Howie Kendrick. Kendrick with the infield out RBI. Getting the Angels on the board. Well struck deep left center field. Going back Saunders he's getting home. One out here in the fourth. Jason Vargas trying to win first game since August 14th at Cleveland since then he's lost the cup 0 and 2 with an 8.18 ERA. To him the other day, had a couple of pitches up, hurt him. That last outing, last couple of outings, has just been, he said about four or five pitches he would love to have back. Here's Turi Hunter. Struck out the first time. Things I've seen in a while was Tory Hunter last night after Felix struck him out. He had smiled, just sort of tipped the cap. We gonna do? Not much last night. Felix was nasty again. Pops this one up. Astounding numbers from Mr. Hernandez. Ten wins with a 0 0.87 ERA. Nine no decisions, a 1.92 ERA. Now he's in the dugout working on his first base play. Left handed. Look at that. <laughs> that was crushed. Down into the corner. Tory Hunter will get a double. Tory's 31st two bagger of the season. Pitch in the middle of the plate. Just a missile down the left field line. One out. Tory Hunter at second. Mike Napoli, the catcher, batting in the five hole tonight. Mike struck out looking at a 3 2 pitch in his first at bat. Ball one. It looks like he'll be finishing out the rest of this month, uh, finish up this month with this Angel Ball Club. He was yeah. claimed on waivers by Boston a couple of days ago. Nothing happened after that. And the Angels just pulled him back. Sure. Two and oh. Napoli played at first base last night, one over two. Has got some pop now. 21 homers. Team leader for the Angels. Marcus now way behind at 3 0. Didn't want to give in to him in a 2 0 count, threw him a change up. He has first base open, but Rivera on deck has had some success against Vargas and definitely against the Mariners. What is he at 17 home oh. runs in his career against the Mariners? That's insane. 3 0. Oh. Napoli's aboard. Second walk issued by Vargas. One out, two on. Beautiful night here in Seattle. 
Nice home stand here. It'll continue with the Cleveland Indians coming in for four games starting tomorrow night. Their only visit. Here's the aforementioned Juan Rivera. It's four for 14 against Vargas, two have been homers. Vera, 306 career hitter against Seattle, 17 homers and 48 runs batted in. Strike one. Take their leads. The one. Hold the string beautifully. Get off the end of the bat. <laughs> Marcus, as always, up ten, down ten, doesn't matter. He's. Can't read his face. Got one of the great poker faces of anybody in baseball. 0 oh, 2. Made some good pitches to Rivera. Here with the high speed pitch brought to you by West. 93 miles an hour from Bell. He has a good fastball. He's thrown a lot of them, and that's about right for Vargas. He'll be in that 87 to 89 mile an hour range. Two to Rivera, two on, one out. I think he's got a double play and he home. Broken back, double play. Figgins Johnny on the spot. And again, Vargas gets out a little bit of trouble. A 1 1 ball game here at Safeco Field. I want to win. Good call. Let's see what Jose Lopez can do about it here, starting off the home fourth. Lopez, Kochman, and Saunders against Trevor Bell, 23 year old right hander. Bell with a lot of show business in his background. His dad, granddad. Bob Belt, those of the clown for 20 some years, Chicago TV. And this young man's done a bunch of commercials himself since he was eight years old. Well, 
Lopez fly to center's first tack. Jose two for four. Last evening when the run scored. One of the big runs in that eighth inning when the Mariners came from behind to get the double. A little tapper back to Bell. And throws out Jose Lopez for the first out. Let's check in again with Tom Glasgow. Now here, here, Tom. Coxman hits it hard the other way. Willett's going back. Can't get it. One hop off the fence. Coxman in the second with a double. With one out here in the home fourth. Casey Coxman barrels up 1-1. One, one. And for Casey, his 19th double. And Casey hits the ball hard to left. We've been doing that a lot lately, hitting the ball the other way. Willis playing really shallow out and left. Can't get back in time as it goes right off the end of his glove. Coxman last night had a base hit to left and a fly out to left. And hits this one very, very hard. And he's in scoring position here for Michael Saunders. Saunders, an aggressive approach, has lasted back. They'll try to. Get a pitch on the inside portion of the plate and he lined it in the right field but right to Tory Hunter. Strike one. Inside. He certainly knows that if you look at the infield, Kendrick way over on the right side of the infield board, just the center fielder shading towards right. Expecting him to try to pull the ball. A lot of times you get runners in scoring position and pitchers want to stay away, nibble on the outside corner, but they've been aggressive with Saunders inside. They tried to go there last night when he almost hit the grand slam. Ended up with the sacrifice fly out to right. Just missed it. But the pitch was in the middle of the plate. He, the, they didn't get it there where they wanted it. When you're in an 0-2 count. He'll, he's going to end up bearing a couple pitches. Maybe throw a change up to him. But he's going to come back inside. There's a change up. Ball and two strikes. Bell in his first start against Seattle. His 24th game, 10th start of the season. Ball two strikes. Two two. As you tally to this point, two two. Hold the string, and there are two down now. The Mariners fourth, fourth strikeout for Trevor Bell. Look at the last pitch down out of the strike zone. It's a good change up for Michael. That pitch is going to be above the knees, and the bottom of it falls out. Great productivity last night. Bottom third of the order for the Mariners in the eighth inning. Saunders, Moore, and Wilson all with RBIs. Adam Moore got a pitch away. Two strikes. Got just enough of it to get it beyond Kendrick. Huge RBI. Double to right centers first time. High 
fly ball to center field for Gorgeous. We'll take care of it, and that'll do it. We get a one out double, and Katzman does not advance any farther. Four in the books, a 1 1 contest. Mets last visit to Seattle this season for the Angels. Jason Vargas gave up a first inning run. Since then, in the last three innings, he's given up just one hit. Deki Matsui, Brandon Wood, and Peter Borges. Seven, eight, nine here for the Angels. Strike one to hit Deki. Walked in a three-two pitch back in the second inning. Him in the ballpark. In fact, keep him in the infield. One out. Matsui coming into that at bat. Two for eight against Vargas. Both home runs. Josh Wilson throwing him out. Vargas in 2010 has nine no decisions, 3.36 ERA in those contests. Nine and seven is his record. Could easily have 13, 14 wins. One and another Wood is struck out on a one two pitch first time up. Right now, he'd like to have a couple of quick innings. Pitch count's not bad, he's okay. He gets a quick inning. He can work his way through the seventh, maybe the eighth, the way he's going right now. High fly ball, right field towards the line. Each row coming over. He's got room. Nice play. Well done by each row for the second out here in the fifth. Let's get back to Tom Glasgow. Jump, thanks. Two outs here in the fifth. Peter Borges stands in, flat out the center. We've seen this kid run well. We've seen him hit a home run to straightaway center field a couple of nights ago. He's the PCL Rookie of the Year. 
Arizona Fall League. That's a good deal for all the clubs, really, to send their prospects there to give them a chance to play some more. We have that when I was coming through. Point two. Down low. had a, uh, a regal group of players over the years that, that developed into great players with no more Garcia power guys who played in that Arizona Bowl. Foul off of Adam Moore. Geez, he got hit twice last night and he wears another one here. Is one piece of equipment. You want to make sure that baby is ready to go every day. Jeter, Pulholz, Garcia, Power, David Wright, a lot of Ryan Braun, a lot of big time names. They got uh, they got going in the Arizona Fall League, which started in 1992. Hopefully, adding some Mariner names to that group. One and two. Coming in is Gutierrez. He'll take charge. Final out. Good inning for Vargas. Very clean in the fifth. Scores tied at 1 1. Josh Wilson, each row of tickets coming up. Action and a Jay Buhner fan sighting. Jay was in the booth last night. I thought maybe he went out there to watch the game tonight. <laughs> There's Josh Wilson fouled out to the first baseman Rivera in his first at bat. Mariners got an RBI from Franklin Gutierrez in the third inning with one out. Figgins single to left, stole second. They started Figgins towards third. Third baseman went to cover. Spot he vacated. Judy shot a bullet right through there. Almost like that. Base hit for Josh Wilson on a 2 0 pitch. And let's see what else is brewing with Tom Glasgow. Good race. Very good race in the East. Top of the order now at Ichiro. Second and hits in the American League to Josh Hamilton. He's 0 for 2 tonight. A strikeout. And a ground out to third. There's a base hit up the middle. 
Josh Wilson will hold it second to the Mariners. In a developing situation here, first and second, nobody out. Pedro being aggressive, first pitch fastball. It's down, but in the middle of the plate, hits it hard, right back up the middle. Biggins now, and there's, I don't know if uh, Darren Brown will leave this up to Biggins, but you're in that point in the ball game. Biggins with two hits already in the game, so he's seen the ball. Pretty good off of Bell, but it's a situation where you think he probably had bunt. He had good speed on the bases. Let's see what Darren wants to do. Higgins leads the ball club with 11 sacrifice bunts. And in third, a little bit of Sky Asper. Shows bunt, pops it up, foul. And in this situation with nobody out, he's going to drop a punt. He wants to run it firmly towards the third baseman, Kayasco, make him come in and field it. So there is a, a play over at third with Josh Wilson having to run. Make third baseman come get it. Well, one to Figgins. Gets it down. That play will take it. Go to third. No! Bases are loaded. Calculated gamble didn't pay off. Here comes Mike Sochik. This is one of the better athletic plays you're going to see from a catcher to make this type of play. And it was awfully close at third. It looked like maybe the throw beat him. It's a force out at third. But what a play by Napoli. Dale Scott, third base umpire, calls him safe. But take a look at it. Watch Napoli come out from behind the play. This is a nice barehanded play. Gets rid of it quickly. And he beat it. That's a good call at third base. But a nice play by Napoli. But you're, you're exactly right, Mike. I mean, coming that way and then throw it across your body across your and body. then make a good throw. Right. Nice play. That's outstanding. But it throws on money, too. Just a tad late. You won't see many catchers even try to do that. You bet. Not even all. <laughs> Not for another 10 years you'll see a play like that. Mariners have them loaded up. We would certainly like to come away with a couple of runs in this situation. Bases loaded and nobody out. I get the team RBI man up there. 51 here in September 1st. Franklin Gutierrez. Bases loaded. Franklin drove in a run last time up. Side. Mariners on the season. Bases loaded, less than two outs, 271 batting average. has done well previously some situations here three for five less than two outs bases loaded overall 333 definitely want more than one Two hits, no errors for the Angels. Around on eight hits, no errors for the Mariners. Golden situation here for Seattle. Bases loaded, nobody out. Good speed on the base pass. Check swing. Still one and two. They tried to keep the ball away from Franklin this at bat. Bring him with a couple of hits in the game. He's pulled the ball twice. They're trying to keep it away from him, but Bell has missed inside a couple of times. Defensively, they get gorgeous shallow shading towards right center. And Hunter shallow and right. Huge gap between the left fielder and the center fielder. Times called Napoli. Going out to check with Bell. 
Josh Wilson got it started. 2 0 count, single to left. Each row, first pitch swing, single through the box. Biggins laid down a bunt. Michael Cohn up and throwing. Biggins laid down a bunt. That went through late to third, loading the bases. Here's the one two to Goody. Put it in play down to the shortstop Wood. Goes to Kendrick for one. Double play. Run scores as Viggins blew up his buddy. Howie Kendrick at second base. Scoring on the play, Josh Wilson, no RB. Watch Viggins come into second base to try to break it up. Gets a piece of Kendrick. Justin Gutierrez. They're going to get those two runs we were talking about. They're going to need a base hit now from Brannion. First double play tonight by the Angels. Angels put the shift on with Brannion up. Inside, ball one. Struck out the first two times up, both times on two two pitches. Two oh here. Piece of the court, this is Jerry Mills. Two and one. Opener, he went two for four with a double and a single. Three and two, two outs. Struck him out. Napoli held on to it. That'll do it. The Mariners load him up and get just one, but they take the lead at two to one to the sixth inning. The thirst inning. Let's check out the crowd in the Budweiser thirst inning and see who's enjoying the game.
back here at Safeco Field. A very pleasant night for some baseball. The finale of the series with the Angels. 2-1 Mariners. Loaded them up in the fifth. Only got one. Most scoring team in the American League. Jason Vargas doesn't have a big margin of error here as we begin the sixth. He's kind of used to that, isn't he? I would say so. Top of the order, Reggie Willits. Willits, Kiaspo, and Kendrick. That's how the Mariners roll. <laughs> I'm telling you. Good change up. Two strikes to Willits. Young Oklahoman. Not getting as much playing time as he got a few years ago. Just a 71st game. Popped it up. Catchman will take charge. One out. One out here in the six. Hey, now's the time to reserve your seats for the 2011 season with the Mariners season ticket. Season ticket holders receive great benefits, including significant savings and new for next year, flexible ticket plans. Plus, you're going to have the opportunity to purchase additional tickets in advance for all the big games and special events. For details, visit Mariners.com slash season tickets. There's Alberto Cayespa. He's 0 for 2. With that foul out, well, it's 1 for 3. Backhanded by Josh Wilson. Nice score. Up to down. Real quick pop to Tom Glasgow. <laughs> well stroked. <laughs> He'll be here all week. One and one and be Kendrick. You need an agent, Tom. <laughs> Two one Mariners. <laughs> That's it pretty well. Deep center field going back to the end is running out of road. Leaps and make the catch! Oh, baby, what a catch by Franklin Gutierrez! He preserves a 2-1 lead for the Mariners as Howie Kendrick got into one. And Goody takes a home run away from him. Times it perfectly up against the fence. I didn't think he had a chance to get that one. That is... Had to run a long way to get there. Nice play by Franklin. That is a big time major league effort. Tip of the cap from his starting pitcher, Jason Vargas. Another stellar play by Franklin Gutierrez.
first pitch swing. Jose Lopez flies out to center one out here in the uh, home six. But how about Franklin Gutierrez watching tracking. He knows where the ball is going to be and he's going right to that point. And now go up and get it young fella. Nice play. Going back to what Ozzie again said. Hey he's the best center fielder in the American League next. Casey Catchman always seems to time his jump perfectly, doesn't he? Yeah. You see so many times guys will either rub up against the wall, and not be able to get up as high as they want to, or they miss time it. Rarely see that with him. Here's a high drive deep right center field. Long run for Tory Hunter and Borges and Tory runs it down deep part of the park. Two down. David Ortiz and the Red Sox they return to Safeco Field for a big three game series with night games on Monday September 13th and Tuesday the 14th. Then on Wednesday the 15th they leave the office a little bit early. Join us for a 3.40 p.m. U.S. Bank Mariners matinee. For tickets to see the Mariners and the Red Sox visit Mariners.com or any Mariners team store. Quick two outs here. That is the. Next to last, Mariners home state, three with Boston, three with Texas. Enjoy a day off on the 16th of Thursday, and then Texas comes in for three. Michael Saunders lined out to right and struck out. Following the script, two and one. Just pounding him inside. Here comes a changeup. Three and one here from Trevor Bell. Strike two, full count. Takes in with a two out single here in the sixth. Michael starting to swing a little bit better again. Pitch up in the zone. Does a nice job of staying on top of it and lining this ball in the center field. Saunders with a base hit. Steal a base now. Why not? Right. Three out of six. Right. A couple of outs. Worth a shot. Mariners about a two out lightning in the eighth inning. Last night, 3 1 victory. Tinsley going through the signs. Base coach, two outs. Adam Moore, one for two. He doubled to right center his first time up. That was in the second inning. So relieved to get that big base hit last night in the eighth inning after the base running mistake cost the Mariners a run when he was caught rounding third. Runner goes. That police throw. Not in time. Goes into center field. Saunders heading to third. Here's the throw. He's in safely. Stolen base for Saunders is fourth. 
And that'll be an error on Napoli. Bounces his throw down to second base. Pretty good jump by Saunders. Ball hits on the grass. Columbia stolen base, E2. Four out of seven. Saunders in base stealing. Kiaspo trying to dig him. No sale by on Saunders. Chance here for more with a 1 1 count. Full big time, 1 and 2. One of the better sliders we've seen from Bell. Let's talk about it before the game. He says that's, that's how people have been working him, and he expect Bell, expects Bell to do the same thing. I was just thought at about 3 30 today. Now it's just a matter of putting the bat on it. Another one. Mariners with the run in the third, and RBI by Gutierrez. Double play, bases loaded, and a double play. Run scored in the fifth. In that fifth inning, that base is loaded, nobody out. Had to fight that one off. That was tied man. him up, though. Oh man! Especially tough when you get a pitch like that up and in, and you know he has to be looking out over the plate for that slider you again. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the tracer. It's a ball. It's close. We we'll get a piece of it. Ball and two strikes, two outs. Saunders at third. Staying alive. What Adam Moore has had to deal with here in the sixth inning. Here's a run screaming to come home at third base. Strike him out. They get Saunders to third and no farther. Six in the books, a 2 1 Seattle lead. Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. Visit the official online shop of the Mariners at Mariners.com. You can browse the largest selection of official gear, including the latest apparel. You've got memorabilia and authentic classics for the whole family. So get your gear from the official source, the Mariners.com shop. Accept no substitutes. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, FSN crew here. 2-1. Low scoring affair, Jason Vargas and Trevor Bell. Torrey Hunter fouls one off. Torrey with a strikeout and a double to the left. Very 
back to the pitch. Well, he keeps very consistent, I guess, with that change up. His arm speed never, very rarely you know, varies from what you see with his fastball. Right. He keeps his, he keeps his arm speed up. He keeps the ball down for the most part. You rarely see him hang a change up. Usually it's down in the zone, like that one. Strikeout of Tory Hunter. Fourth K, rung up by Vargas. First strikeout since back in the second inning. Sleep Country USA bringing you the Mariners calendar. Happy first of September, everybody. Cleveland comes in tomorrow for three, then a short road trip down the coast to Oakland and the Angels, and then back home for Boston and Texas. Mike Napler strikeout looking at a walk. It's a charge in one deep center field going back Goody going back. It's off the fence left the mark on the fence and Napoli was steaming the second with a double. We talked about him. he's got some power. Yeah, concerned about this one just because of the way Franklin Gutierrez reacted to it. He couldn't get back in time and typically when you see him turn like that it's going to leave the ballpark. That one fortunately just hits off the fence. Brandon League is now up in the Mariner pen. Third hit given up by Vargas. One hit in the first, one in the fourth, and one here. Rivera is 0 for 2. Rivera with a fly out to right field and then lined into a double play. Runners at first and second. The ball up the middle. Viggins caught the line drive, stepped on second to double up Tory Hunter. Marcus looking for his first swing since August 14th at Cleveland. Has two strikes and a tough go. 0 and 2 at 8.180 ERA. One and over this season, five games against the Angels. Change up again, one and two. So trying to get the wave going here on a very pleasant evening here at Safe Go Field. 67 degrees at first pitch. Very, very pleasant evening. Yeah, Jason Vargas now at 95 pitches. Splits are good against 67 strikes, 28 balls. More action for the Angels. A lot of their call ups. Jordan Walden. Somehow they got a piece of that. Pitch would have ended up behind him somehow. Way inside. Aaron Brown is team down in Tacoma. See how playoffs coming up. Napoli's at second base, a one out double. Another good change up down in the zone. Rivera fooled on it, just able to get a piece of it. Look at the key phrase there down in the zone with that change up. That's 
made Vargas such a uh, success this season. Pitch number seven coming here to Juan Rivera. Two and two. The change up again. He goes to right field and each row. Napoli will tag. And he's going to get the third. Two outs. Let's check in again with Tom Glasgow. It's a heck of a matchup. Lincecum against Ubaldo Minute. San Diego by three over the Giants. Strike one to dangerous at Deki Matsui, who's walking grounded out the shortstop. Climbs the wall, did not get it. Second home run in this series for Hideki Matsui. It's a two run shot. The Angels take a 3 2 lead. I believe that's his third home run that he's hit off of Vargas. And this is just a mistake by Jason, unfortunately. Late in the game, he's trying to throw a fastball inside. Probably wants to go off the plate, and you see Adam, and then he throws it out over the plate, right in the middle of the plate. And it's up in the zone, right above the belt. Good effort by Ichiro. He just can't get to it. Ball had the sound coming off the bat. So much for the 2 1 Mariner lead. Now it's 3 2 Angels. Home run number 18 for Matsui, RBI 72 and 73. Shot he hit two nights ago was just ridiculous. <laughs> off the hit it up into the uh, hit it here cafe outdoor area. Sixth inning on Monday. You were talking about it earlier, Jason saying I had to get a few mistakes back. That's one that he's going to look at. He just clearly missed his spot, wanted to go in and cuts it off the plate right on the middle of it. Biggins. On spot throw out Brandon Wood damage done by Matsui after Napoli had doubled a two run homer by Matsui gives the Angels a 3 2 advantage. The Ellensburg Rodeo for tickets, visit ellensburgrodeo.com. When I hear Wild Side, I think of Lou Reed's old song, but that's going back. That's a whole nother discussion back here. You're going to have to sing that one for me. <laughs> hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the Wild Side. Yeah. 
Hey, baby. Well, the Mariners got to get going here. They're going to face the guy they've never seen before. Just called up Jordan Walden. Yeah, and you can see just three innings pitch for him, but he does have five strikeouts in those three innings, one walk. The right hander is going to face nine, one, and two in the order. Josh Wilson, each row with Figgins. Figures there, boys. 100 miles an hour on that pitch. Whoa. He's not holding back. <laughs> oh, hey, Josh. Have at it. Rip. You see some of the, the fastballs and slider that rolled as Chapman threw for Cincy today. Well, everybody is talking about is 104 miles an hour, which is ridiculous. But good luck trying to hit that slide. No chance. Oh, I saw two of them today. I oh, saw one to get a strike at as Josh goes down swing. Mike, you got a right-handed hitter, and they've got even chance. No way. Look at that 100 miles an hour, the last pitch, 88 mile an hour slider. Top of the order, here comes Ichiro. Got a base hit the center's last time. It gets up one in a hurry, doesn't it? 99. Jerry Mills. Look out. Up. Oh, oh man. Ricochet two sections over. Wow, watch. It's a good view of what Ichiro's got to deal with. Hi. Bringing a glove is a good idea when you're in those seats. Two and two. Walled in the double A Arkansas one and one with a three point three five ERA. Six Alex triple A Salt Lake. Four point oh five ERA. Just bringing some heat. 2008, he had 141 strikeouts, at two levels in the minor leagues. Last year, elbow and forearm issues. I didn't get a piece of that. That's remarkable that he just he can aim. He's well, an 87, the yeah, it's an 87 mile an hour. Look like change up, maybe or a split. After seeing 100. Intro is worth the full count. Mariners down a run, three two, bottom seven. Kendrick knows he's got to hurt. No, no play. That's the bane of the existence of any middle infielder when you see each year off and he gets one like that and bounces and you know you got little to no yeah, shot. And each row catches a break here too because the second bounce is right there by the cut of the grass and it threw the timing off for Kendrick. Take a look at it. Ball will go over then it'll hit right by that cut. Comes up on him. By then no chance if you have anything that you have to do make any adjustment each row is going to beat it out. That'll be another infield hit for Ichiro. Two hit night for Ichiro gives him 171 on the season. Figgins has had a good night. Two for three. Both hits the left field. 
and a stolen base. So, the H.E. Maynard, they, they're up to speed. 171. This ball away, ball one. Two hits for each row now gives him 2,201. Next on the uh, list is Willie Wilson, 2207. by Matsui in the seventh inning with two outs. And the Angels the lead. <laughs> Get out of play. Walton's out of Fort Worth, Texas, still lives there. 6'5", 220. 12th round pick, 2006 free agent draft. It's at Gason County College. Minor league career started back in 2007. First time here in the bigs. It's pretty amazing, isn't it, that a guy can throw 100 miles an hour and he's a 12th round pick? <laughs> Dude's doing it before him. <laughs> Let me say, if, he, uh, if he's in the process of figuring out, this could be very interesting. Two and two. Struck him out two now. Let's see what else is happening with Tom Glasgow. is starting to falter a little bit and those deep backs started today uh, tied for the lead home runs in the National League. San Francisco they were four games back they win tonight they beat Colorado right. two to one so now they're within three. Phillies take to Denver. That's their next stop. I was looking at that earlier Cincinnati had a pinch hit home run to win their game Cincinnati. Milwaukee and Arizona started the day with 154 home runs leading in the National League. There's Toronto has got an insane number. Breaking ball for strike. Toronto started the day with 201 home runs to lead the majors. <laughs> oh and two to Gutierrez. Throw it first, two down. There is going to be aware of there too. It's hard, heavy as this kid can throw it. Rivera typically plays the outfield. That's to be a little bit uncomfortable for him. Mm -hmm. That was a T. Hope he throws it straight. Popped up, playable. Mile high pop up, and Rivera takes care of it. Mariners are done in the seventh. It's a one run game here at St. Go Field.
action. Wonder if that's a ball he already got a foul ball. If it is, it's a heck of a night for him. All he needs now is the Mariners to get a couple of runs and for Sean White to hold the fort here. Sean's numbers ERA at a 5 1 3. 13 strikeouts, 11 walks. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, just looking at the scoreboard out there, Mariners two runs on 10 hits. Yeah, right. The Angels three runs on four. Come on. Northwest Dodge Steelers called to the bullpen brings his Mr. White. Pride of Mercer Island. Borges, Willits, Cayespo, 9 1 and 2. John pitch Monday, inning in two thirds. Picked up a strikeout. Ten hits. Figure you're going to have four or five runs. And that's kind of a year. Go right back to the fifth inning. Bases loaded with nobody out, and you walk away with one run. Sounds like to me, if you're a manager, that's antacids and a, a wake till about oh, about 3:34 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Borges is gone. One out. Two run over by Matsui in the seventh is the difference right now. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, FSN crew, one out here in the eighth. This is Reggie Willits, one for three. Let up the game with a double to left. Since then, fly to left. Found out the catch. Lopez in a couple steps at third. Good. Gee, that by Sean yeah. White. Kevin Jepson pitching in the Angels bullpen right now. Mariners got to him last night. He took the loss. Two and four. Well, tonight it'll be Russell Brannion, Jose Lopez, and Casey Kochman. Underhand flip by Figgins to get Willits quick two outs. We're in the eighth here at Seattle. It's the latest edition of Mariners All Access tomorrow on FSN. We go one on one with Mariners slugger Russell Brannion plus GM Jack Zarensic. He'll stop by to give his thoughts on the club's direction entering the home stretch of the 2010 season. It's tomorrow at 6 p.m. on FSN and FSN HD. Jack and his crew will be very busy working to put uh, 2011 Mariners together. Kiaspo, the hitter, 0 for 3. Deep drive, right field. Petro into the corner. It's gone. Alberto Kiaspo with a home run on a 2 0 pitch. 4 2 Angels, his 10th home run, 54th RBI. And if I remember correctly, when he was with Kansas City, he had a home run against the Mariners. Earlier this season, a couple of long balls here tonight by the Angels. You look at the swing by Kaius, we'll pitch up in the zone, too. He's able to cheat a little bit, gets into that 2 0 count, and turns it loose. Get it started a little bit early and it ends up in the seats. Matsui hit a two run homer in the seventh. Give the Angels the lead. Led early, one nothing. Look out. Like you were saying, you come to these games and you foul territory left side, right side, you better be alive. Now he was. RBI, RBI ground that in the first inning. And pulled badly there, but the damage done here in the eighth inning. Solo home run by Kayasco. 
extends the lead to two for the Angels. Last night, the eighth inning was good for the Mariners. Can they do it again tonight against Kevin Jepson? Magical for the Mariners. Now the young guy is getting it done. This is Michael Saunders just missed hitting a grand slam. Ends up with a sacrifice fly as two. He'll tag up from third and score a run for the Mariners. Been a nice at bat by Adam Moore. Pitch two strikes. Pitch off the plate away. Stays with it. Punches the ball out into right field. Jose Lopez will score. And then Josh Wilson finishes things off with a nice base hit up the middle. All of that coming with two outs for the Mariners as they put three on the board and come away with a 3-1 win. Well, here we are in the eighth inning on 24 hours later. Same pitcher. It'll be Brandon Lopez and Kachman against Kevin Jepson. Jepson, he took the loss last night. His record going to two and four. And make a hit zone for Russell Brandon who's caved three times tonight. Jordan Walden. Walden was impressive in his one inning of work and two strikeouts. Facing four batters. It's the outside corner. One and two. The numbers on Kevin Jepson. Jepson has a good arm. 44 and two thirds. 49 strikeouts, but a high ERA. ERA just over five. He's given up two home runs this year. Mariners have twice as many hits. The Angels have twice as many runs. Ryan Sweeney is up and throwing. Haven't seen him for a while. So the golden sombrero for Russell Brandon, four strikeouts tonight. One out here in the eighth. Mark your calendars for one of the most entertaining nights of the season. It's Fan Appreciation Night on Friday, October 1st, a month from today. And this year we're going to roll out more prizes than ever before. Flat screen TV, autographed baseballs, a 2011 sweet night and more. We hope to see you here at Safeco Field for a fun night as we say thanks for your season long support. For tickets, visit Mariners.com. Jose Lopez over three. Jepson. 
with six hitters. He got roughed up. Two hits, three runs, all earned, two walks, and a strikeout. That's a good fastball. Seems like he wants to throw his slider a little bit more, though. Like Butcher in the glasses is the pitching coach for the Angels. Two and two. Continues with Lopez. First day of September, Mariners coming off a 13 and 14 mark in the month of August. Which I think of a lot better than the May, which was 8 and 19, and July was 6 and 22. Lopez pulled badly. He's done. Two outs. Let's get back to Temple Alaska. Thank you, Casey Kutchman. He's up there with two outs. Nobody on here in the eighth inning. Mariners down two. A couple home runs tonight have hurt Seattle. Two run shot by Matsui in the seventh. Kai Espo a solo in the eighth. You mentioned good fastball, 96 miles an hour. Three mile an hour change up. Sliders upper 80s. That will get fouled. That's been with a double to left in the fourth. He's one for three. Cardinals losing again 5 2 to Houston. Cincinnati wins 6 1. Cincinnati's up 8. They were down 4 10, 10 days ago or so. A couple of weeks ago, the Cardinals swept the Reds. They sure did. I mentioned earlier San Diego. Padres lose 5 2 to Arizona. Giants win. They pick up the game. Two and two to catch. Bounces one to Kendrick. Jepson has a successful eighth inning, 24 hours after a disaster last evening. Angels, as we go to the ninth, have a 4 2 lead.
Ninth inning action. Mariners need to hold the fort right here. They're going to try to do it with Bryant Sweeney. First time we've seen Bryant since the 22nd of August. Appearance number 18 for him. Nice ERA, 3.55. First hitter is Tory Hunter. Bryant's fastball will be. 87 to 89 miles an hour. Very good change. Huh? Brian did some mop up duty. His last appearance, Yankees uh, beat the Mariners 10 0 on Sunday, August 22nd. Brian, an inning of a third, and gave up a hit and a run. Two and one. The Tory Hunter, he'll be followed by Mike Napoli and Juan Rivera. Looking ahead to the Mariners, bottom of the ninth will be the bottom third of the order. Saunders, Moore, and Wilson, the heroes of the eighth inning last evening. Strike on Turi Hunter could check that swing two and two. Fernando Rodney is up and throwing. Rodney picked up his seventh save in the win Monday, 5 3 here by the Angels. Swing and a miss, a good change up by Sweeney. Seventeen thousand five hundred fifteen on hand here at Saint Joe Field. Beautiful night. Mariners and Indians. They face off Friday night. It's singles night here at the ballpark, and your ticket includes a seat in the singles night section, admission to the pregame party, and your first beverage. So join your fellow bachelors and bachelorettes by visiting mariners.com/singles. Like Napoli, this is Paul Wollinger. Mike got a one out double in the seventh and out later Matsui brought him home with a two run home. Another drive slicing towards right center field and deep going back. Goody got it. He's something. Stays in the ballpark. Good chance he's going to come down with it. Had to run a long ways to catch that one. Sure right center field ball slicing away from him. Something special in center. Two outs in the ninth. Ryan Sweeney, after watching him, watching Goody record that out, resumes normal breathing. Two outs for one. Rivera 0 for three. Josh Wilson to his left. Settles. Throws out Rivera. Five play. One, two, three. Ninth. Nice job by Sweeney. Now the bats. Is the magic there? Bottom of the third of the order with Saunders Moore and Wilson against Rodney. We're going to find out when we come back.
court. As you look at the numbers for Fernando Rodney, 3.86 ERA, 38 strikeouts in the 53 and two-thirds innings that he has pitched. Plus fastball, he'll be in the 96 mile an hour range. An excellent changeup. Michael Saunders will lead it off. Michael with a base hit and a stolen base last time. Up, that was in the sixth. He's one for three. Ten hit night and only two runs. Joe's bunt takes a strike. Been an outfielder. He comes and tries to make this play. He's over there in pretty good shape. The ball does come up on him, but here's where he makes his mistake. He looks up to where Saunders said he still had a chance. Little flip if he picks it up cleanly and then just drops it. Right now, Adam Moore, he'll stand in. He represents a tying run. Saunders was 0 for 1. Josh Wilson's 1 for 2 against Fernando Rodney. For the doubles, I would say the outfield playing normal. Infielders, third baseman Kiespo's off the line at third. Mark the 3 0 count. Josh Wilson on deck. Good change up. So tough to lay off of that pitch. Look at it right in the middle of the plate, but it's the speed. 10 miles an hour off of this fastball. Saunders at first. Rodney Kemp set. 3 2 to Moore. Struck him out. That Still alive, evidently. Almost hit the ground. Yeah, hit the ground. In fact, it hurt Napoli too. Wow! Came right back to his glove. That's, that's pretty good for Jerry Mills to see that. That went quickly. Three, two. Just a good fastball running inside, probably ended up off the plate. You 
first pitch hitter here, Brian Leonard, is coming up. He'll pitch hit. Josh Wilson, Langer hands is one for two against Rodney. Well, there you go, two for seven as a pinch hitter this year, one home run. That's what Darren Brown is looking for right now. Got the rally cap on, whatever works. Season as a pinch hitter. It's two for seven. A home run and an RBI. One for two against Fernando Raji. Five hits, two errors for the Angels. Two runs, ten hits, no errors for the Mariners. One one to Langerhand. It's foul. Saunders started this inning reaching on an error by the first baseman Rivera. Let's prepare a little bit off the bag so it turns and faces. Guarding that line up high. Check down the third. You know, Scott said he did not go. Runs a count to two and two. Fastball 96 miles an hour probably comes back with a change up. Two and two. Two outs. And you had said that right from the top. That tonight and a couple of nights ago, that's what he's going to do when he gets in trouble a lot of times. And he will, and especially when he throws a fastball that's up in the zone, change your eye level. And he comes back with a good change before the bottom falls out of it. It's tough to lay off of that pitch, especially if he locates it like he did on that last one. Two outs. Each your Last hope here for the Mariners. He represents a tying run. Infield hit back in the seventh is 45th infield hit. Two hit nine. He's got 171 on the season. Pitch, 
All the two strikes with Saunders at first. It's from Rodney. Left field coming in is Willits. He's there, and that's the ball game. Angels won it 4 2. Mariners had a 2 1 lead, but three late runs, a couple of home runs from the Angels give them the series and this ball game 4 2. And it's a shame. Jason Vargas again, one mistake to Matsui. Wanted to come inside with a fastball, left it out over the plate. Matsui hits it out of the ballpark to give the Angels the lead. And the Mariners' offense in the game 10 hits, only two runs. So Jason, not much run support for him again. Two hours and 39 minutes for this one. The Mariners are now. 4 and 12 against the Angels, 2 and 7 here at 6.